Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the new season 3 of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. And this is just my opinion. I don't think there's going to be spoiler alerts or anything. But if you want to, you could just leave the video and just watch the whole season if you want. But this, this video is just on my opinion on the season 3. Okay, moving on. So, my opinion season on the new season 3 that just came out today. I think it is, drum roll please, amazing, action, everything, I love it, it's, for me, I think it's way better than season 1, especially season 2, all of them, I really love it, why, because it has a lot of Jurassic Park references, also it has a major connection with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I'll explain why in a little bit, so the reference to Jurassic Park is when the Scorpion, Scorpius Rex, this is, am I, am I pronouncing it right? Scorpius Rex, yeah, I think I'm pronouncing it right. So, the Scorpius Rex, or E750, it, it was in the kitchen trying to eat the, then trying to eat Darius and the Kenji and the other characters, main characters, yeah. And when they were in the kitchen, it was a hardcore reference to Jurassic Park when the Velociraptor was tracking the, the kids in the kitchen, it was a hardcore reference. Right here, there's an image. You, as you can see, it's a really hardcore reference. And also, another hardcore reference is when the Velociraptor and the Velociraptor blew from Jurassic Park. I mean, Jurassic World, actually. And and the and E750. I'm gonna call it that. E750 was were fighting. The, um, they were they were making the exact same moves as as what Rexy the T Rex that's what they called them her actually and, and the Velociraptor from the original Jurassic Park did the iconic scene so really cool and also what I meant by before when there was a connection with Jurassic World and Jurassic World Cam no no Camp Cretaceous Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I meant that because um, there was the scene where where this guy was running from the T Rex and got on the ladder and got eaten by Mosasaurus. That also happened in the movie Jurassic World Camp No Camp Cretaceous and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So in, in other words, the campers saw what we saw in the movie Jurassic World Camp No Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, I keep on getting mixed up with these two. So. It was really cool to see the camper's perspective from of the event, what happened in the movie. And it sort of like connected. It was like a magnet. The other one of the magnets were Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. The other one was Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And all of a sudden they just both connected. And the, the plot line is just really cool. And if they continue like this... We can see the full movie, like full movie, like what happened from the perspective of Owen and Claire and uh, what happened on the mainland. And also the perspective of what happened while they were on the mainland, what happened when they were on the Isla Nublar. So we can see like literally the whole movie, what happened on Isla Nublar and what happened while Owen and Claire were in the city. So it's really cool. I really love that. So... Yeah, I guess this ends the video. So, so I hope you you enjoy my video. I hope you you agree with my opinion. If you don't, it's not, I'm not really upset or something. But it's just my own opinion. Maybe you also maybe have all another opinions. But this is mine. Okay. So um, this is Daniel S W. Oh yeah, before I go, I want to say that. I'm sorry if I haven't been uploading lately. I've been very, very busy. But also one of the things why I have been I haven't been uploading was that I've been running out of YouTube ideas or YouTube videos. What to make? Like I was like, oh, should I make this? No, that's too boring. Should I make that? No, no, no. I mean that's that's why I haven't make, been making videos. One because I don't have time, and two because I don't have any ideas. So if if you have a chance to um, write any YouTube ideas in the comments, I would please and I would be happy to read them. And if one of them, like if one of them, I like them, I'm going to I'm going to. Make the video of them and make a shout out who, um, who recommended it. So yeah, this is Daniel's W signing off.